Okay, guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, removing distractions from a picture. Now, a picture itself is worth a thousand words, but I often say when you get distractions in a picture, then you start to have those issues that we need to overcome and we need to work to get those issues cleared up. And I think that's really, really important. So let's go ahead and get started. So the picture we're going to be using today is this picture of my stepdaughter here graduating nursing class. Congratulations to her. And then you have my uh, youngest stepdaughter and my daughter on the other side. This is in Lightroom, but in Lightroom, we're going to actually bring it up and we're going to edit this with our Photoshop elements. We're going to bring up our elements editor here. And we'll just get this uh, distraction out of the way behind here so we can get started. All right. So what I'm going to show you about, first of all, today is the guided edit. Now, the guided edit works really, really well. Uh, it, it, it's very easy to use, and it doesn't take a whole lot of finesse to get it to work properly. So let's go ahead and use the guided edit. The guided edit, which is over on your guided menu at the top where you got quick, you have guided, and then you have expert. So we're going to stay on guided at this present moment. We are going to go to depth of field. Now with depth of field, I'm going to show you how to very simply change the photograph. Click on simple. First thing we're going to do is add a blur. Let's add a blur. And we can already see now where the whole entire picture blurred. Everything's blurred. Our foreground folks are blurred and the background folks are blurred. Now getting rid of unwanted distractions is just that. It's also called depth of field. And if you can't do it in camera, we can always do it in post in editing. Let's go ahead and add focus. So now we want to add our focal point. And what I want to do first of all is I'm going to start at the top left corner here of the uh, foreground person, my uh, youngest stepdaughter. And I'm going to draw a line right across down to the elbow here. And we're going to try, you're going to see here now where they're coming in focus. We're going to do the same thing with my daughter here. We're going to draw a line down here. And we're going to bring her in focus. We'll draw a line down over the front of her. So anywhere you want to be in focus here, you're going to actually draw lines and we're going to actually bring them more into focus. Now, as you can still see, the background folks are still blurred out. Once you do that, just simply click on done and you now have a picture that you got rid of those distractions. But let's say you wanted to take it one step further. Let's say that you think, well, I'm more of an expert than that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to redo this picture and make it so it's, it's very easy to do um, in the expert mode. So we're going to click on done. And what we're going to do now though is we're going to click on edit and I'm going to revert this image back to normal. Now what we're going to do is we'll go into the expert mode and we're going to do it by hand. Again, it's very simple to do. First thing we're going to do is duplicate our background image by using Command or Control J. Do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a selection over our foreground folks here. You can use this doing using your Wacom board, your Wacom board, whatever you want to call it there. But we are going to make a selection. So we are going to go to our selection tool and we can use any one of these tools we want to use to make a selection. We may go to the uh, quick selection tool. And you, you may notice from my past videos, I like using the brush. Some people like using just a quick selection. We'll try that. We're going to make a new selection. And we're just going to start on the left arm of my uh, youngest stepdaughter here. And just start going up her arm over her hair. And you're going to notice here what happens with the quick selection is it wants to start painting everything everything it wants to select. So now we're going to have to go back and clean that up. Let's go to select and deselect. What we're going to do is I'm going to use the brush tool instead. And all I got to do with the brush tool is make my brush size a little bigger. And I can just start simply brushing over my stepdaughter. It's a lot easier to make a selection with the brush tool. And whatever tool you're going to use, you will learn after a while what tool you like. And that is the tool that you're going to end up using more often than not. I te tend to lean towards the brush tool, so I use it more than any other tool. Because I know I can just kind of paint around what I want. 
It's not picking up anything else around these uh, my my foreground objects here. Once I get that part done, then I just make my brush size even bigger. All I got to do is go in the middle here and just kind of paint. I'm just I got my left mouse button pushed down, and I'm just painting around here. We're going to clean up some of that there. We'll get rid of some of that uh, because we don't want too much distractions around it. That's the whole idea of this edit. Again, in the long run, we are changing the depth of filled is what we're working on here. But I call this getting rid of unwanted distractions. Now we're gonna click on down at the bottom on the toolbar here, subtract. And I'm gonna take my brush tool here and just subtract some of this right around her hair. Down in here, up around this left part here. We were gonna do the same thing with my daughter around her arm over here. And then I can see a couple parts right in here uh, around her coat that I'm going to have to add. So I'm going to click on my Add tool. I'm going to add that. And then right over on the youngest stepdaughter's hair, we're going to bring the hair out just a little bit. Now what we're doing here, so you can stay, stay up with this here. If we have it selected right now, this is what we want to be in focus. We are going to add that blur to the back of this picture. So once we have everything selected we want, we're going to go to Select and Inverse. Now what Inverse allows us to do is it allows us to select the background. All right, so they are no longer selected. We inverted the selection. Once you have that done, we'll simply go to Filter, Blur, and then pick out whatever blur you like. Gaussian Blur seems to be one of my favorites. And we are going to select this. We are going to adjust our blur. If you want to, we can actually uh, go out on this picture here a little bit <clears throat> so we can see what we're blurring here. Because you see, you're trying to blur that background. So we'll bring the blur up a little bit more. And you can see now, we can start to see it blurring out on the actual picture. So we're getting a live preview because the preview is checked here. When you're done, simply click on OK. Now, just go to Select and Deselect. Now, folks, I like doing this a lot more by hand in the expert mode than I like the guided edit. The guided edit is going to teach you the basics of how to do this uh, edit, but the overall edit you can see is very simple to do. It works very well. It looks like you probably used a $2,000 lens, right? And uh, you have this beautiful picture now where they're really in focus and everything else is blurred out in the background. So folks, I hope you've liked this edit and I hope you enjoy this uh, type of editing here. I'm glad that you're uh, watching my YouTube videos. If you're not subscribed to the video, please click the subscribe button. I would love to have you uh, on the channel here and uh, watching the future videos. Please stop by my website, thephotographyguy.net, where you can sign up for a free white paper. I'd love to have you over there. And you can join our Facebook group, Jack's Tech Corner on Facebook. We're getting a large amount of people over there. It's a great community and we pay it forward. So if you know something about photography or even computers, pay it forward. Somebody will ask a question, you can answer it. You don't have to wait for me to answer it. And uh, that's the way we actually pay it forward. You can watch my live shows, which I do on Sunday morning. And I do those each Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on justin.tv slash Jack's Tech Corner. Folks, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner for another Photoshop Elements video. Bye for now.